Nice. Let's loot these mm -hmm. guys. Sure, sure. Is that the cook? Uh, quarter staff. What? Compare with what? With my hood or the guy's hood, I presume. The struts and supports are large enough to be roofs of a uh, dragon. Okay, so this was kind of waste. Oh well. Uh. I'll see what I can find. Okay. Alright, let's just run until it's here. Since I know that there's no enemies here. Unless there would be at night. Keep an eye out. So I saw some bandits over here somewhere. Actually I don't know where. Since this is a fog of war no. Oh wait, actually, no, eh, this is a fog of war for some reason. I guess I, oh, 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 yeah, okay. Huh. Whose sneak is the best? Stealth to... Okay. You. Sweet. So I guess helmets and hats and whatnot don't do anything in terms of stats. Then I guess I'll just find the best looking one. I guess I could give him one or whatever. Okay. Um. Oops, oops, oops. Is that a torch? I mean... What? Don't move anything. Just want to get... Okay, yeah, and then you can carry the rest. And then you... Um, what's your armor? Seven. Mine is seven. Yours is a unique version. Uh, actually, Saint Armor. Yours is unique as well, okay. What's this? Quest? Quest item? Uh, I have no idea what for. My shield is this, your shield, medium shield, 12 minus 4. Heater. <clears throat> What's the difference between heater and round? I do not know. Rapier. 1522. And uh, crossbow is very slow. I'll uh, change the bow instead. War bow 1524 1218. Sounds good. Average, yeah, this is. yeah, good. Okay. Dead cards. Oops, I didn't mean to sneak. 
Oh, come on, I told you to sneak. Um... Change to bow and shoot that guy. You... You yes. attack this guy. Please, attack. Okay, never mind. Uh, wow. Okay. Why aren't you doing what I told you to do? Yeah. to have once encircled this entire glade. Only a small fragment remains, and the stairs leading to the top of the structure have crumbled away. Examine the wall more closely. The heavy bricks are slick with moss, presenting a hindrance to climbing, but the stones themselves seem to stir sturdy enough. Given the right tools, one might easily reach the top. Don't we need some tools, right? What do we need? I don't know. We'll come back. I'll go to some shop and see if we can buy something, some climbing tools. Okay, sneaky, sneaky. Oh, 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 oh. And a touch more salt. That's the cook. Hey. Hey. Yeah. How long it takes to make uh, mm. some damage to bandits? Mm. We can talk to them. Uh. Meaning, hey. uh, are weapons. you sure? Yeah, I shall. I'll talk to them. The young dwarf, what? Not, not a mage, you dumbasses. The young dwarf tending to the stew looks up startled. As he sees you approach, he drops his ladle, spattering stew across the ground. What? The man turns. Get him, you dogs, and make sure our new cook don't run off. Help, please help. Wah. One of the bandits gives Tentric a kick and as they pass him and we huddled. No, 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 no. You run. How may I? You... Uh, accuracy. You... Attack. Still running. Attack. Actually, that one. Keep fighting. How many? Sweet. And I just keep shooting at him, I suppose. Hey. Nice. <laughs> What? I didn't mean to do that, but whatever. Oh, because he's still down. That's good. Oh. Oh, he's still the soul. Much. This guy. Ah! 
curses. Sweet. Looting time. Okay. Sure. I'll take everything. And even this. Uh, unwashed bodies. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm interested in what we just received. Uh, why are you the leader, though? Anywho, um, first of all, book here. Then, uh, a cape. Capes are popular throughout the Eastern Reach, commonly made of wool or animal pelt. Capes provide warmth on cold nights and through deep winters. Hell yeah! A hood. Yeah, yeah. Fits me perfectly. I don't like that. Uh, Follow that's me. better. Hey. Huh? Hail and well met. By the flame, thank you, thank you, thank you. I thought I'd be stuck cooking for these ignorant weasels for the rest of my life. Or until they were bored of it me, I suppose. Did Pasca send you? She must be beside herself. I must be get back at once. But then listen, the next time you're in Gilded Vale, make sure to drop by the Black Hound. I'll let her know what you've done for me, and I'm sure she'll do right by you in turn. Oh, to be back at my oven again. Hmm. Yeah, where did you go? Okay, so uh, remember to come back here at some point. I don't need to rest. Kill the dwell. Individual characters can can enter scouting mode. Okay, okay. Yeah. Scouting slash sneaking doesn't seem to be good, at least early on in the game. Seems to be very weak. Easily spotted. What do these guys have to say? Wait, not you. I have you. received confirmation that Lord Radric's heir was not born well. Oh no. My lord has issued an injunction on all new homesteads until he can be assured that the village has been cleansed of all Aeothasians and whatever other undesirables that have brought this curse upon his lands. Darn it. It would be best if you left town as soon as possible. I would suggest returning to your old home. There will be no place for you here. You may stay at the inn until you can make the necessary arrangements, but I would not advise remaining long. I expect Lord Radric will be most thorough in his efforts to purify this place. I'd like to report to murder. Uh, tell me more about Lord Radric. He comes from a line of nobles who have defended these lands since Adri times. Radric II was an early supporter of Tiruvudan independence during the revolution, and the current lord, lord's father perished in the Saints' War. Hogelborn began appearing in Adirwood shortly after the wars ended. Lord Radric has taken it upon himself to purge a curse from Gilded Vale. His measures have been severe but necessary. Unfortunately, it doesn't appear to have been enough to protect this heir. The Saints' War? Our age is most a, a treacherous example of man's madness. Fifteen years ago, the people of Frederick Keras decided that Wadewen, their living saint, was a literal incarnation of the god Ethos. This supposed saint took it upon himself to liberate the Deerwoods, supposedly from allegiance allegiances to less worthy gods, but I've never known an army to conquer a land for its people's own good. The war lasted about a year, but you can guess that that what that year did to the worship of Ethias and of Deerwood. Lord Raider's forebears, forebears 
had all been Athosians, but after his father fell defending us from those fanatics, he personally saw that the temple of Otheus here in town was shut down. He points at a few ruined walls near the tree. If you have any other questions, don't hesitate to ask. It's important that everyone goes well and understand the rules. Before I got here, I saw several people conducting this, uh... I'd like to know more about Gilded Vale. We're a frontier village, as are most settlements in the Deerwood. Gilded Vale hasn't grown much since its establishment in the Conolia days. In the last 15 years, I've been seeing our population shrink further. He takes into the ram's shackle, shackle houses and half fallen fences. Hence our recruitment of fresh settlers. Indeed. Why has Gilded Vale's population been shrinking? Uh, well, it's a legacy, of course. Many women have had difficulty bearing healthy children of late. A few years ago, Lord Frederick decreed that no mothers of Hollowborn are to be allowed in Gilded Vale. His mouth tightens into a firm line. His lordship dealt swiftly with the objectors. It may be harsh, but if it purges us of this curse, it is not worth. The, is it not worth it? Tell me about those ruins behind the tree. That's what left of the Temple of Ethuas, his lips pucker. Lord Redrick forbade worship of the dead god after the Saints' War. It's been abandoned for almost 15 years, but there are plans to rededicate it to Barath, the god of life and death. Abandoned because of some nice lord decides to pull it down because he was scared of its god even after it died? Barath's good choice, though. I like it. Barath believes in cycles. I like the thing that what happened to that temple will get repaid someday, too. What about Hill of Vale? Uh, I think I'll ask about this, uh, uh, you know, uh, before I leave. Uh, because, you know. Uh, and uh, this, I will have to talk to those people first. Um who are here, I believe. And then we'll go uh we'll go to the to, to, to talk to the cook and the innkeeper and then we'll go there. Dexterity affects the action speed of characters and reflex defense. Oh hey guys. Hello again, Nigret smiles. I hope Gilded Vale has been kind to you. I know what really happened in that bear cave, Naunton. The color drains from Naunton's face. I uh, don't know what you mean. I told you the truth of it. Are you accusing him of something? Ingrid looks at Naunton, touching his arm. If this is about the accident, we're both grieving Pearly's loss, but it was a wild animal's doing. Naunton shakes his head minutely. You see a tremble in his hand. What would make you suggest such a thing? I had a vision that gave you yeah. Stop, I have no patience for cowards and liars. Not on flinches, but meets your gaze. After a moment, he says his jaw and nods. Fine, I confess it. I did it. I saw to it. He'd never leave that cave. His hands fall to his sword belt, and I'd do it again. Not on wait. Ingrid raises his hand. I don't know what you saw in that cave, but this isn't what you think. Pearly, my husband, he was as much a beast as that bear. I tried to leave the first time I, I suffered his temper, but he wouldn't have it. She looks away, expression painted. Naunton, uh, we met, and I knew I'd found someone special, someone kind, who cared for me. Please, all we want is to leave this place, to start somewhere else. We, uh, she looks down on her, at the satchels. We have some coins, coins saved up. You could have it if you'll only let us go. Uh, I mean, okay, maybe he had temper problems. And maybe he was beating her or something. But that's not an excuse to kill the guy. We could have just left without, you know, doing anything. Sounds fair, nope. No, whatever your reasons, you cause a man's death. I'm thinking this is the magistrate. Probably doesn't have a second chance, but you don't deserve one either. Keep the money, use it to start your new life. I don't need your coin, it'll get out of my sight. No, what? Mm. No, whatever your reason, you cause a man's death. I'm thinking this to the magistrate. I don't know what you think you'll tell the magistrate. A story about a dream you had? I didn't even tell you that I had the dream, not in sneers. But you won't take this from us, not when we're so close, and not for that wretched pearly. Not on draws his blade. Hey, no. Okay. So 
Так. Так. And you can. Sweet. Wait, 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 do do something, shoot. Attack. Nice. Mm, start loss. Vengeance from the grave. Uh, while exploring the Wailwood wilderness, I happened upon a small cave where a great bear lived. In that cave, I discovered a half-eaten corpse and a spirit that, through some work of magic, revealed to me the final moments of a man's life. I killed Ingrid and Nonton for the parts I played in Perilous Death. I don't want to kill them, I just wanted them in prison or something. Although they would have been hanged anyway, so. And I got a ring, yay. Sure. Sure. Let me see the ring. Actually, sword. Um, 1319. 1319 slash pierce. Average. Average. Sword one handed, we got legs one handed. Accuracy versus deflection, accuracy versus deflection. It's the bonus critical damage. Nothing. Oh, yeah, there's a. I didn't even see that I can even compare this, right? Enchant. Interesting. Not yet, though. Uh. Oh, yeah, yeah, the, the ring, the ring, the ring. Oh, I have gold, lots of it. Uh, the ring of deflection, plus five. Very good, very good. It's mine. Con's pledge, stupid rest. What's Con's pledge? really like using that anyway so you on the other hand you can have a ring why not uh. so we killed the bastards I should have just reported the murder although I wouldn't have gotten anything from it Bum, 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 bum. Let's see if we can actually tell the, uh, about this to the guy. I reported a murder. I witnessed a murder. There has been a murder, and uh, you're the first uh, victim. Uh, I like to report murder. Uh, as, as is your duty, what has happened? The mo man called Nodden ha has killed his friend, Pearly, out in the wilds. Cruel and cowardly deed, if indeed it's occurred at all. What evidence do you have? I will go find some... These are not accusations to make lightly. Yeah. Huh. Never mind. Party is active. I don't know what that means. Uh. Hey. How may I help? 
right click for details, class behavior, crowd control, let's say. Well, yeah, do you damage? Aggressive. I hope that old watcher is still there. Been years since I heard anything from about him. I'll talk with these guys uh, some other time. Aggressive whole ground. Um, aggressive. Yes, that's what I want. Knockdown and disciplined barrage. Aggressive. Huh. You wait. Hey. No, no, wait. Mm. Oh, whoops. You um, whole ground. Itself. Hey. You aggressive, aggressive. Don't use perest uh. abilities unless uh, I tell you to. Okay. Well, I, ha no, I rescued okay. your person. Hello and welcome to the keeper. Looks up. Oh, it's you. Tenfer told us what you did for him. It's such a relief to have him back. I can't thank you enough. Consider yourself a favorite of the house. Discounts on drinks, rooms, Stanford said he wanted to whip up something nice for you. He's already back to work in the kitchen. She laughs. So what would you like? Nothing at the moment. Just to talk. Ah, it's you, my savior. He makes a sweeping gesture to indicate the kitchen around you. So good to be back. Do not think I will let this go unrewarded. I have decided that you haven't earned the right to learn one of my most closely guarded secrets. My dearest recipe, after this, you will eat nothing else. Savory pie. Savory pie to keep you hale and hearty. May it serve you well in your tra travels. Uh. Okay. Uh, I'll let it here. I don't know. Should I rest? Is there some time or something? Uh, day four, hour ten. I'll I'll rest because. Uh, yes, a room, please. Certainly. Whoa, 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 I'm sorry. Welcome. Certainly. The common room. Yep. Ah. Eight hours at best. Uh, okay, yeah, I think I'll end it here. I think it's even gonna be in night time, isn't it? Uh, but yeah, in the next episode, we will. I think we will go sell our loot to the blacksmith because we have a bunch of swords and shields and whatnot that we don't even need. Then we will go to that cave. Oh, it's in daytime. Then we will go to that uh, dungeon thing. We will do some dungeon crawling. And then we'll see uh, if we can maybe buy a tool to climb that thing over there. Uh, you know, uh, in the wilds. Uh, but yeah, until then, uh, um, thank you for watching and see you guys next time. Bye bye.